up next on Hooters Arkansas Football. Highlights from the second week of the high school season, all the way from Murfreesboro to Mark Tree. We've got you covered. That's right, you only get coverage of El Dorado and East Poinsett County from Arkansas's football authority. Hooters stretches the coverage next. Now, Arkansas's most watched sports show, Hooten's Arkansas Football. Good Saturday morning and welcome to Hooten's Arkansas Football. Today from Huntington Learning Center in Little Rock. We've got highlights from the second night of the high school football season coming up in just a few minutes. There are great rivalries around the state, PA and CAC highlights. Some of the students from uh, PA and CAC are here prepping for their SAT and ACT scores. You know, if you can just get your scores up four or five points can mean the difference in a lot of scholarship opportunities and Huntington Learning Center helps kids do that. In fact, they tutor all the way from K through 12 and Huntington Learning Center is a great place to go if you want to reach your full academic potential. We'll be talking more about them a little bit later this morning on Hooten's Arkansas Football. Right now though, let's begin with highlights from Class 7A and 6A presented by Twin City Bank. The Sylvan Hills Bears on the road at number two ranked Cabot. And the Blue Bears confused a bit. Snap sails in the end zone. Safety, Cabot two, Sylvan Hills zero, first quarter. Most exciting play of the first half, Cabot senior Chris Bayless running off tackle and making some moves for extra yards. Cabot's drive continues into the second quarter now. More Bayless bouncing all the way down to the one. That sets up All-State junior Michael James for the touchdown. Cabot was up 9 to nothing at halftime. Final score, sports fans. Cabot, 24. Sylvan Hill, 0. From Cabot to Saline County, both Little Rock Catholic and Benton looking for their first win of the year. And Benton comes out firing. Cody Hamlin heaves it to Garrett Parker. 70-yard catch and run. Benton 6, Catholic zip. But the Rockets come right back. Thomas Green scooting in for the touchdown. That tied it up at 6. A little bit later, Benton on fourth down. Goes to its bag of tricks. Kobe Roberts on the halfback pass to Josh Davis. He pays for that, but the Panthers take advantage. Benton looked much better week two, but Catholic's defense was stiffened in the second half. Final score, Catholic 26, Benton 21. Class 6A's top-ranked Lake Hamilton Wolves storm in Quigley Stadium, a matchup with Class 7A Little Rock Central. Lake Hamilton strikes first. Philip Butterfield connects with Tano Vanucci. Lake Hamilton extends its lead. Look at the first man through. That's fullback Nick Utley. Pancake blocking for David Church to walk into the end zone. Lake Hamilton looking good, but as always, Little Rock Central with all kinds of ability. Watch number one. That's Gerard Green taking the pitch, but this one will come back because of penalty. Final score, Lake Hamilton 27, Little Rock Central 7. The North Little Rock Charging Wildcats knocked off two-time defending 6 champ champ Texarkana last week. Friday night at El Dorado, senior quarterback David Hope hooking up with classmate Donald James for the only touchdown tonight. North Little Rock runs for the two-point conversion. Final score, North Little Rock 8, El Dorado 3. Here's Hootens.com, Class 7A rankings presented by Liberty Bank. Fort Smith, Southside, and Cabot hold down the top two spots, although the Rebels and Panthers have not been nearly as impressive as Fayetteville. The Purple Dogs pounded Little Rock Central in the opener, and on Friday night, one at Jefferson City, Missouri. Don't be surprised if Fayetteville gets mentioned in some national rankings this week. Bentonville's undefeated, and so is Harbor. The Wildcats look like a state title contender again. There are no changes in Hootens.com top 10. Little Rock Cat sticks at six, then it's Russellville, which made that dangerous trip to Dardanelle look easy. Fort Smith Northside beat Van Buren, but only by a field goal. Then it's Bryant and North Little Rock. Springdale won at Clarksdale, Mississippi on Friday. Rogers jumps ahead of Little Rock Central. The Mounties open their new stadium with a big win, while Little Rock Central is winless. Then it's Van Buren and Conway. In Class 6A, Lake Hamilton stays on top after a convincing 20-point win at Little Rock Central. Expect a shootout next week between the Wolves and visiting Pulaski Academy. Number two, West Memphis shot down high-flying Pine Bluff with the kind of discipline and execution you expect from a team coached by Lanny Downs. Undefeated Jonesboro jumps up to number four after outscoring his first two opponents by 62 points. 
The second five starts with Texarkana. After a humiliating loss to crosstown rival Texas High, the two-time defending state champs are 0-2 and have scored just three points this year. Marion is undefeated after an impressive road win against Forest City. Mountain Home lost to Harrison for a second straight year. Sheridan is number nine and Jacksonville's up to number 10 after a come-from-behind victory over Class 5A Valonia. Then it's undefeated Little Rock Parkview at number 11, followed by Watson Chapel, Benton, Hall, and Fair. Coming up next, Class 5A highlights on Hooten's Arkansas Football today from Huntington Learning Center. Or of Hooten's Arkansas Football, brought to you by Baptist Health Sports Medicine. We begin our Class 5A highlights with the Greenwood Bulldogs. The three-time defending state champs took their dog show on the road all the way down to southwest Arkansas for a rematch with the Hope Bobcats. The last time these two met was back in 2000 for the state championship. Greenwood won that one and looked in championship form on its first drive Friday night. Zach Turpin, the senior stud, taking the pass from Tyler Shook. Turpin totaled almost 200 yards receiving on the night. And on the next play, Greenwood's Marco Vada pounds into the end zone. Greenwood 7, Hope zip, but the Bobcats would hang tough at least until the half. Greenwood pulled away down the stretch. Final score, number two ranked Greenwood, 42, Hope 51. From Hempstead County to Mustang Mountain, a private school showdown in North Little Rock, Central Arkansas Christian against Pulaski Academy. After a rain delay, the lights come on and CAC quarterback Zach Cole goes to work. The transfer from Sheridan buys time and hits Jonathan Johnson, CAC 7, PA zip. A little later, Jasper Lee taking the direct snap. It's Central Arkansas Christian 14, Pulaski Academy nothing. The PA would come back, quarterback Spencer Keith overcomes two first half interceptions. The Bruins go on a 28-7 run before holding CAC on a late two-point conversion attempt. Final score, Pulaski Academy 28, CAC 27. Little Rock Christian lost All-State quarterback Griffin Kuhn to a broken leg during its scrimmage two weeks ago. Last week, Christian lost to Oak Grove. Last night against Marlton, Christian gave it to number five Michael Dyer 45 times. 45 carries, 315 yards. Marlton got 97 yards, including this 17-yard TD from Anthony Tryon, but that was it. Final score, Little Rock Christian 14, Marlton 7. The Mills Comets lost their opener by 42, trying to bounce back against Little Rock Hall Friday night and doing it with defense, battering Little Rock Hall. And on the first play of the second quarter, Mills running back Zay Jones streaking like a Comet. 50 yards for the Mills touchdown, and that's all the Comets would need. Final score, Mills 6, Little Rock Hall 0. Thursday night, Little Rock McClellan at Little Rock Fair, a battle of winless teams. McClellan in the white already up 12 zip when quarterback Elgin Harris blows up a Patriot on his way to the end zone, and McClellan goes on to end a 12-game losing streak. Final score, Crimson Lions 32, Fair 0. Here's Hoops.com Class 5A rankings presented by Liberty Bank. West Helena sticks at number one after beating Mariana. A big one next week. The Cougars play at West Memphis. There's Greenwood still at number two, followed by PA, BB, and the Batesville Pioneers in the top five after a 28-point win over Searcy. Bologna falls three spots after a late fumble hurt them and a six-point loss to Class 6A Jacksonville. Monticello is winless, but may be the team to beat in the 5A Southeast. Then it's Little Rock Christian. Harrison at number nine. The Golden Goblins should be 3-0 when they head to Bologna in two weeks. CAC moves up a spot despite that one-point loss to PA. Magnolia starts the second 10. Then it's Sylvan Hills, Blythe, Camden, Fairview, and Alma. Hot Springs Lakeside is undefeated and has a big showdown next week with Class 3A Fountain Lake. Forest City is 0-2 and out of the top 10. Siloam Springs just got by Farmington last week and blew out Stillwell, Oklahoma last night. The Panthers are number 18. Then it's Robinson and Crossett. Number 21, Whitehall, has won two games and tied two games in the past two years. Coming up next, Class 4A highlights on Hooten's Arkansas Football today from Huntington Learning. Now, more of Hooten's Arkansas Football, brought to you by Sonic. We begin our Class 4A highlights at Nashville with a pair of number one. 
Class 4A's top-ranked Nashville Strappers playing host to Class 3A number one Prescott and Prescott senior quarterback Tremaine Henderson. And the Curly Wolves led this one 21 to 14 late in the first half, but Nashville forced a punt and the Strappers took over at the 40 with 22 seconds left. And that's when Nashville's senior quarterback Pierre Vaughn goes to work. First, the quick out to Montrell Wright. Wright had six catches on the night, can't quite get out of bounds. The clock's ticking, and Vaughn finally spikes it. And with two seconds left from the Prescott 32, Vaughn's airing it out. He passed for 248 yards on the night, and he's found Wright again. Sweet pass. 32-yard touchdown as time expires in the first half. Nashville goes for two. That's Derek Graham taking it in. And the Scrappers outscored Prescott 27 to 6 the rest of the way. Final score, Nashville 49, Prescott 27. Stuttgart in the white at Pulaski Robinson. Stuttgart's Corey Racy racing to the end zone. He added a two-point conversion and finished the night with 134 yards rushing. Robinson, high snap, sails over the head. Stuttgart recovers, and that sets up Stuttgart quarterback Zach Bulware for the touchdown run, and Stuttgart's defense did the rest, holding Robinson to 80 yards. Final score, undefeated Stuttgart, 14, Robinson, 6. Here's Hooters Arkansas Football Class 4A rankings presented by Liberty Bank. The top three stay the same. It's the Scrappers, the Lumberjacks, and the Jackrabbits. Lone Oak sticks at number three despite a loss to Class 5A BB. There's the Gravit Lions moving up to number four after a pair of impressive wins. And DeQueen debuts in the top five for the first time this decade. Junior running back Greg White averaged almost 30 yards a carry in Friday night's 40-7 win over Camden Harmony Grove. Dollarway is 0-2 and starts the second five. Things won't get any easier next week for the Cardinals when they travel to Class 6A Marion. Dardanelle drops to number seven after its blowout loss to Russellville. Oak Grove stays at number eight. The Hornets have won two games against Class 5A teams by a combined 56-7. There's Shallow Christian at number nine. The Saints battle Greenwood next week. And at number 10, it's Stuttgart. The Ricebirds defense hasn't allowed a point this year. The Oceano Seminoles start the second 10, then it's the Greyhounds the Panthers, the Bobcats, and Boonville. Undefeated at number 15, they play number 13 Clarksville in two weeks. Number 18 Hamburg lost by two points to Ashley County rival Crossett on Friday night. And number 23 Heber Springs smoked its neighbor Rosebud 52-6. Heber Springs junior kicker Antonio Romero booted a 52-yard field goal in that win. Coming up next, Class 3A and 2A highlights on Hooton's Arkansas football. Today, from Huntington Learning, now, more of Hooton's Arkansas Football, brought to you by Big Red Stores. That's my challenge to you tonight. Play with intensity, play with emotion, play with fire in your heart. Second year coach Brian Harris and East Point Tent County at Mark Tree Big Ball Game in the 3AA Conference. Opening kickoff, East Point sets Byron Ford, flies to midfield, and is walloped. Michael Gray of Mark Tree with the stick. He fumbled, but teammate Justin Oregon jumped on top of it, and the Warriors march to the Mark Tree two-yard line. That's where Mark Tree's Francisco Mato makes the big hit, forces the fumble. Earless Coleman recovers for Mark Tree. Coleman had a big night besides that fumble recovery, 13 tackles. But East Point Sit County would come back later in the first quarter. Dustin Beatty right up the middle. He had 93 yards of the night. This touchdown put EPC up six to nothing. But Coach Tim Brenham's Mark Tree Indians would shut out East Point Set the rest of the night. Final score, Mark Tree seven, East Point Set six. Lots of love in McCrory Friday night. The Jaguars won their opener and had a big crowd on hand for a key conference game with Cross County. But McCrory down by 10 in the fourth quarter, looking to rally, going to the air, but Cross County's Michael Bowles steps in front of the receiver, and it's a pick six for Cross County. Bowles had a monster night on both sides of the ball. As a running back, he had 233 yards and three touchdowns but McCrory did not quit. The Jaguars force a fumble, lands right in the arm of senior linebacker Nelson Woodard, and Big Nelson puts McCrory in business. The Jaguars go to junior Boyd Wheel. He's getting wide, and look out, running right into your living room. A couple of plays later, quarterback Paul Keene finds 
Jadrian Holiday for the McCrory touchdown, but the Jags will get no closer. Cross County joins Mark Tree atop the 3AA standings. Final score, Cross County 36, McCrory 18. Looks like some Baptists got dumped. Arkansas Baptist, that is, playing host to Episcopal Collegiate. Heavy rains gave way to a Baptist flood. Greg Bowie takes Logan Quinn's screen toss to glory. Baptist up 14 to zip, but not finished. 22 seconds left in the half. Quinn going deep, and it's Bowie wide open. He had three catches for 89 yards, all three catches, touchdown. Baptist by 21 at halftime. Second half action, Episcopal drove inside the 10, but turned it over on downs, and Baptist shows no mercy. That's Bowie again, wearing number 30 in the second half, going 82 yards. Final score, undefeated Arkansas Baptist, 35, Episcopal 0. From Little Rock to Murfreesboro, Murfreesboro historian Freeman Henderson in the house as the Rattlers play host to Center Point. And the Center Point Knights hanging around. They trailed Murfreesboro just 12 to nothing in the fourth quarter when Center Point senior Dan Wilson slashes into the secondary. Nice game, but the drive would stall. And here comes Murfreesboro. Senior Kenneth Blake with the option pitch to Byron Wesson, and Wesson does the rest. The junior had a 20-yard score in the first half, and here comes number two, Luce for a 50-yard touchdown. Weston would finish the night with 149 yards. And Murfreesboro is in control 20 to nothing. A little later, more Murfreesboro. Blake off play action. Looking deep and spots his man. That's junior wideout Tyler McCray. Nice hands. And Murfreesboro's at the two. Next play, Wesson's got his third TD of the night and the Rattlers roll. Final score, Murfreesboro 27, center point. Zero. Here, guys, is where we add the steam and keep going. We don't slow down now. Having a good week in practice this week. Uh, we got banged up a little last week. And weren't really mentally prepared and came out this week and with a good week of practice and ran the ball well tonight, and that's what we needed tonight. Here's Hootens.com Class 3A rankings presented by Liberty Bank. Top-ranked Prescott went to Nashville Friday night and for three quarters played the three-time defending 4A champion off its feet. The Charleston Tigers piled up 500 yards at Gentry and at Fountain Lake, Quentin Lindsay is on track for another 1,000-yard rushing year. Fountain Lake beat Mina 48-21 Friday night. Hoxie and Harding won as expected. Ryzen jumps from number 8 to number 6. The Wildcats downed Class 4A rival Fordyce and Class 4A Star City to start 2-0. Mayflower whipped Class 5A Greenbrier 20-3. Glen Rose moves up to number 8 and travels next week to number 7 Mayflower for a 3A throwdown. Perryville and Lafayette County complete the top 10. Then it's undefeated Greenland climbing to number 11, followed by Harrisburg. Number 13, Atkins got past its Class 4A rival Dover 32-30 in a River Valley shootout Friday night. Lavaca falls to 0-2 and Boxite drops to number 16. Mansfield, Lamar, and Mountainburg are 2-0. There's Marshall, Rivercrest, and Harmony Grove. Unbeaten Magnet Cove will play host to Murfreesboro next week. For our State Farm Play of the Week, we head back to the hill in Nashville. The Scrappers trailing Prescott by seven with two seconds left in the first half. And Nashville's Pierre Vaughn going deep. Beautiful pass, 32 yards to Montrell Wright. Nashville takes the lead for good. And that's the way the Scrappers seize the momentum. And our State Farm Play of the Week. <laughs> 